people and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday and we have a very special video for you today. What it is, is a makeup tutorial and we will be obviously creating this look that I'm wearing at the moment. It was supposed to be a natural sort of fluffy look but it didn't really turn out that way but that's fine. I actually ended up with this beautiful outlook. It's a very dramatic eyed, long lashed, big, bold red lip. As you can see, it's a very glamorous sort of look and it wasn't really a great day of filming to be honest with you. I made quite a few mistakes. I dropped a load of things and I just chatted a load of gibberish. But if you're into that, then awesome. Um, so sit back, relax. Grab yourself your cup of tea, or your coffee, or your cocktail, and enjoy this makeup tutorial. How's it going? Got a new eel mug with me today. Okay, so, I'm all clean. I've moisturised, I've washed my face, I'm like, ready to go. I don't even know what I'm doing yet though. Like, I have an idea, but uh... Yeah, I hadn't really thought about how I'm going to do this, so let me take a sip of tea and we'll work that out. Yeah, with any kind of makeup look that you do, ideally you need to prime your face and everything. Um, so the primer I'm going to use today is called Fix and Rouge. Rouge? I think it's called Rouge. And it's the Wonder Love Charm. It's just in this very cute little bottle here. When she thinks she's a, a YouTuber and she's doing the whole, yeah, look at this. I don't know what I'm doing in my life. It's just quite nice. So literally you just get a bit in your little pipette and you just put some over your face and on the forehead as well. And then just literally rub that in. It's so refreshing, like it's so like, it feels like you're rubbing water on your face. I don't know how to explain it. It's really weird. But it feels really nice. Like, oh, I love it. Yeah, that is a really good primer to go for. Um, while I let that sink into my face, I think I'm going to do my brows first. Um, so with any kind of brow product, it's normally always going to be a benefit, isn't it? I mean, who doesn't use benefit for their brows in this day and age? I mean, come on. So the product I'm going to be using from Benefit today is their Foolproof Brow Powder. Oh my god, look at that shine. So sorry if I just blinded you. It's literally just a very simple two-toned like wax and powder to give you that sort of fluffy brow look. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go for like a fluffy kind of brow look today uh, rather than a, you know, huge defined brow that's the word i'm just going to use like a normal angled brush from glossy box it literally just says glossy box so but obviously any angle brush will do and then i'm just going to dip into that Ooh. oh my god i'm just going to dip into the darker shade and um, just to get that little bit of extra definition on the edge of my brows and then we'll go in with the lighter shade just to make it a little bit more fluffy and natural looking can you hear my cat? You never get peace and quiet in your house, do you, when you've got pets? And then obviously I'm just gonna take the lighter shade just to go over the front and um, I try and draw like some fake eyebrow hairs. I've got an itch. Oh my God. My eyebrows weren't supposed to do that, look at that. I have filled in the other eyebrow. I know it doesn't look anything like this eyebrow, but we're not trying to get twins, you know? We're trying to get sisters or cousins. We're not trying to get identical here because no one likes to be identical. <laughs> so we're just gonna brush the product through. This is just a random spoolie I found. I've no idea where I got it from. Probably got it with some kind of like kit. But literally just, see, see, I don't know if you can tell. It looks a lot more natural once you've brushed the product in properly. I know my eyebrows look hella bushy at the moment, but it's fine. It's going to look a lot more once we've, uh, 
what's the word? Concealed it, there you go. To set my brows in place, because I have hella long eyebrow hairs and I don't really want them to go like, you know, flying around. Um, there is no better brow gel than the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. It is just a staple when I think if you don't have it in your makeup bag, then what's wrong with you? You need to get it in your makeup bag. You know what I mean? So we're just gonna grab that and just run that through our brows. I do not want these brows moving around today. Have you seen the wind outside? I ain't having my brows flying around. Ooh. Brows are all set in price. Price. Today's not my days. <laughs> brows are all set in place. So all we need to do now is just define them with some concealer. Not a hefty amount. We don't want to go, you know all out um but just grab like a small little brush i have one no idea where it's from it just says bestope i'm no youtube with like all their morphe m40 brushes and all the fucking m12s and shit like that i'm just i probably got this brush from primark or something um but the concealer i'm gonna use and i always use this concealer is the maybelline instant anti-age eraser and I am in the share, share, I am in the shade ivory because I'm white as fuck. So literally just like grab a little bit on your brush. Very simple. And then just get your, and then just get your uh, mirror and uh, hey there. Run it under your brows. and then we're going to use this concealer as an eye primer as well um mainly because i don't have enough money to actually buy my own eye primer so i just use concealer because you know why the hell not and then to blend that in i'm just going to take my huge ass beauty blender <laughs> it's literally half the size of my face and we're just going to get that and we're just going to blend it in. You really can't be a good cup of tea, can you? Okay, so I've done that with my other brows. You can see they now look a lot more defined on the bottom. And they it will do the same thing over the top once you do like foundation and all that jazz. I have really hooded eyes. For those that don't know me very well, I'll give you a quick closer look up. As you can see, they're really quite hooded, so I never really bother with eyeshadow. Um, but what I do need to do, because it gets quite oily in there, you need to make sure that you set it really, really well. Um, you can use any kind of setting powder you want. I just use the L'Oreal True Match Minerals Mattifying Powder in the shade Translucent. Um, and I'm literally just going to set that all over my eyes and then we'll be ready to go in with eyeliner let's do eyeliner today so my favorite like go-to eyeliner for me because i'm i wouldn't say i'm a pro at it but i'm experienced we'll say experienced i'm experienced in it so i use the rimmel london glam eyes professional liquid liner literally just looks like this <laughs> and the tip is literally just like that it's very very small um but for those that don't have the experience that I do with liquid liner I would recommend you get something like this I nearly whacked myself in the face with that it's by Ciate London and it's literally called stamp and drag it's a double-ended pen and on one end you've got the you know the pen tip it's quite thick so you can get that full mad definition and on the other up other eye other end You've got a stamp. Don't know if you can see that. But anyway, that stamp literally is really easy. You just press it on your eyes and then fill it in with the pen liner. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I don't know how much it is, to be honest with you. 
I got it in a glossy box. Oh, that's an idea. If you would like to see me do maybe like a, a glossy box review once a month when it comes out, then, you know, give this video a thumbs up because I think that would be quite a good idea. Just so you know if, you know, glossy box is worth it because I've been doing it for about a year now and I do like some of the products that they come up with. So that might be a new video idea. Look at that. I think a problem. So what I will do is I'll try out this Ciate stamp and drag with you here today. Um, just so you can get an idea about how to do it. And this is where she messes it all up. So once you've obviously set your, un your, your... Once you've obviously set your eyes, so get the stamp. Let's have a look, shall we? See if I can do this right. Oh, that was all right. Okay. That's not too bad. That was pretty easy. Okay. I see you. I see you. Let's try the other one. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> Hold on. I will fix this. One minute. Yeah, I fix it, don't worry. So we now have, you know, the two little points. So that saves you like half an hour of trying to do that. And I've lost the lid. I'm sitting on it. Okay, so now we'll open the other side, which is the very thick pen bit. Okay, she hella thick. She really thick. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What the fuck? Uh, anyone else getting Amy Winehouse vibes? Well, I mean, if you like dramatic eye looks, definitely go for this. The mascara I'm going to use today is called Greater Than by MDM Flow. Don't know if anyone's ever heard of that. It's in this really cute like, little gold packaging. Again, I got this in a glossy box. It's really quite nice. It's It gives you the look of a natural fluffy lash. But obviously because we've got a very dramatic eyeliner, I think we're going to need to use lashes today. <laughs> But I'll show you this uh, mascara anyway. So what I'm going to do is find my mirror again. I'm just going to put a coat or two on, on my top and bottom lashes. Always do the bottom lashes. And then I will let you know what I think. Jesus Christ. Wow. Do you see this difference? Holy guacamole. I like that. That's really nice. That's made my bottom lashes look so nice. I may have my fan. <laughs> I may have found a new favorite. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on the other eye. Ah, oh. I just poked myself in the eye with that, and that's gone all. Oh my god! See, this is why we do eye makeup before we do the face makeup because we can fix this now. We did the base first. We'd be fucked. Oh, that really hurt. I have just completely fucked the whole of my bottom lash. Awesome. Good job, Bronwyn. Well freaking done. Yeah, so I've just cleaned that up a little bit and I've just put a little bit of um, dark eye pencil just in the outer corner of my waterline just to smoke the look out a little bit, which is probably why it looks like I'm crying at the moment because I poked myself in the eye about 10 times doing that. I'm not going to put lashes on yet. I'm going to leave that to... Why am I pointing back? Today's not my day. I'm gonna leave that till the end of the tutorial. We're gonna start with the foundation. Um, a foundation that I think is really nice is actually the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. As you can see, it is well loved. There is foundation everywhere. Uh, I'm actually in the shade 1.5N Lin Linen. I don't know. My cat just came in the room. <laughs> Great. Hello. I'm trying to film a video. All I'm going to do is just take a few squirts of that onto my face. One. 
टू according to plan let's try that again there you go and then we're just gonna get our beauty blender that we use for the concealer and we're just gonna pat that down one thing i do like about this foundation as well is that it's buildable so it's quite a light to medium coverage but you're at that was a big squirt <laughs> so don't mind me just like caking this on my face I have very bad skin and because of that I need quite a full coverage foundation so yeah I know it's a pain isn't it yeah so having a buildable foundation like this one is really good so I'm just going to finish applying this to my face and I will be right back say hi Okay, I am back. And that is basically all blended in. Uh, as you can see, it is like a low medium coverage. So it's not the best, but I think it gives you a really nice finish on your skin, which is why you see me wearing it almost all the time with my makeup looks. So what we're gonna go for now is concealer. Um, same concealer that we use to carve our brows out and prime our lids. It's just the Age Rewind Concealer. So if you literally just pop a little bit under your eyes to hide them purple bags on your nose where you want to highlight chin, forehead, the huge until we look like we're about to go into war with a Zulu warrior. And then just get your beauty blender and blend that back out again one thing i like about this concealer as well is that it's really really blendable and it doesn't look cakey on your skin i think for a drugstore product because i'm broke as fuck it's really really good so as you can see that's really brightened my under eyes and just everywhere on my head now we need to set this in place so I'm going to do a little trick of mine, which some of you may have heard of, some of you might not have. Uh, but let me get the product first, that might help. I use banana powder. Um, this is by May. Uh, it literally just looks like this. It's really, really nice for setting your under eyes um, because it literally just brightens and it stays there pretty much all day without having to look cakey. So what I'm going to do to set my under eyes and my, like, out a bit of my nose i'm going to take my real technique sponge but this is specifically for powder um it feels really weird compared to like a normal beauty blender but it works so i'm not complaining so literally just pick a bit up like that and then press it I know I look a bit mad, but I swear to God it does work. We're not keeping it like this. We, we are going to dust it off. How do I look? I think I should just go out like this. I totally think I should. Oh, my nose. Then to set the rest of our face, I am going to take my Fit Me press powder um this has been a go-to of mine i think since i was in school i don't actually know what shade this is oh it, i do it's ivory it's classic ivory so it literally just looks like that it's just a standard press powder obviously it does have some color in it so you will need to make sure you get like your um skin matched and to apply this i'm literally just using a huge ass fluffy brush just swirl it around in there and then just place it on your face. And as you do that, you're sweeping away that excess banana powder as well. Just to finish our face off, we're gonna go in with, you know, those three main, pardon me. We're gonna go with those three main things that I think every makeup look just needs. Um, because we've gone for a little bit of a lighter fluffy brow, I'm not gonna do any contouring. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzer 
So bronzer I'm using today is actually from Primark. Um, it's the Jenna Frooms Lo Loves, lovely. I think it says Loves. Just looks like this. It's also got a highlight in there as well, which is really beautiful. Um, it's just way too dark for my skin tone. Um, and I'm just gonna take any kind of like angled brush just to bronze the face. There's no mirror in there. I thought there was, there's not. I keep losing my mirror. So literally just take that. You see what I mean? Look at that. For fucking hell. All right, Primark, I see you. Jesus Christ. But also just take that up here as well because you don't want the side of your face looking like you've just got and got like a chocolate bar and just gone. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So literally just take that up the side of your face as well possibly onto your forehead and don't be afraid to get it on your ears as well i don't know why i've just always done that and your jawline as well it just brings it out a bit to make you look a little bit more see that a little bit more defined um i know the con that the contour i know the bronzer looks a bit crazy now but it does blend out you just have to bear with me so you don't have to always get that like one side of their face that bronze is better than the other. Is that just me? Okay, so that's all bronzed. I don't know why this side looks different. I, I promise you in real life they are the same like kind of shade. I think it's just the lighting and the fact that I'm using a phone camera and not a professional camera because I'm not a professional in the slightest. <laughs> Then we're gonna go in with a little bit of blush. I don't actually own any blushes, I own one. And this is by Pixie, by Petra. Um, it's called Beach Rose. Literally just looks like that. It's a very deep kind of color. So the fallout is, is insane. So it literally just looks like that. It's a very kind of deep blush. And I'm just gonna go in with a little blush brush. I do need to warn you though, the fallout is insane. Like, look at that, can you see that? Um, but yeah, it is a beautiful blush because it just sort of blends into your contour. I keep saying contour. It blends into your bronzer. That just spilled all over my bed. But yeah, just get a little bit of that and dust it over your bronzer. I get quite red, so I don't really do much for blush. Um, but one thing I am obsessed with is highlight. Um, we've got the Huda Huda. Huda Beauty Winter Highlighter Palette. This is honestly a gorgeous palette. It's got one cream highlight in it, and then it's got three of these other colours. I'm just gonna swatch them for you. I mean, look at that. How can, oh, it's like orgasmic, that sort of kind of colour. So we're just gonna get a little bit of that. The fallout in this, again, is a bit insane, but it's worth it. Mm -mm -mm. so i'll literally go everywhere that i've sort of concealed with this i'll go tip of my nose maybe a little bit on the bridge not too much though because i don't want to look a bit mad cupid's bow oh it's so shiny and then i'll take a little bit above my brows just a little bit though not too much she says it's a hoodie beauty ballet what, what do you expect but the majority of this just goes oh look at that so beautiful and with the same highlight actually what i forgot to do i need a brush this will do is just take it right on the edge of your brow bone nothing eccentric oh that was a big word eccentric eccentric just a little bit okay she says a little bit and she's just kind of gone and done a full-blown gold eyebrow I'm all glowy. Woo! I need to set this motherfucker. So I have a lot of setting sprays. The one I'm ju I've just randomly picked up though is called the Rimmel London Insta Fix and Go. It's a two-in-one primer and setting spray. But obviously I didn't use this to prime. I kind of forgot. So I'm just going to use this to quickly, you know, melt all this together, set my face. 
it's a very strong pump so i definitely suggest like holding this a little bit away from your face <sighs> jesus christ oh damn she's thick and wet mm. but she smells like watermelon so for my watermelon lovers out there i don't know who i'm waving to for my watermelon lovers out there you have got to go with this because that smell is intoxicating let's get a lip color okay i'm thinking of a matte kind of lip today um so in order to help me get matte lips i'm sitting on something i'm sitting on my brow powder um what i have is this lip primer uh by i think it says mina i don't know if you know this brand then please like tell me but i don't actually know what this brand is um but this is a lip primer it's literally just comes out in this like little like that really uh. it's really liquidy <laughs> okay and i'm just gonna put this on my lips i don't know if you can tell but that's already mattified my lips so she ain't waste she ain't waiting them out she's going straight for it so we're gonna go for a matte red lipstick i'm thinking today i'm a bit of a sucker for red i do like my red lipstick so i'm gonna use this lip liner it's by saint lux and it's in the color crush it is a very very nice lip liner as you can see well loved again it's creamy it's not thick and it actually lasts really well i found a lot of lip liners don't last very long but with this one I have to keep topping up my lipstick because this 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 sucker lasts like hours on a night out. For the lipstick, I don't actually have that many red lipsticks anymore. I've literally used them all. Um, so I'm actually going to go in with the Primark lipstick. This is called Ruby Red. I got like a set for Christmas. Um, it's beautiful little packaging though. And the colour is to die for. It's so beautiful. I'm just gonna put it on and shut up. Just bear with me while I like fix it up because obviously it looks a bit messy, so. Mm. It's to die for. And then the last thing we need for this look is lashes. So the lashes I'm gonna go for today is the PS 3D Allure Lashes. And um, these are really beautiful, like full lashes. I think it's perfect to go with this, you know, big ass makeup look. Okay, lashes are on. These are honestly, these lashes are just beautiful. Um, excuse the fact that they're not on perfectly. I'm in a little bit of a rush. Um, I just realised what the time was. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, apologies for the, again, really bad quality. And the fact that I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I just rambled a lot and I, I'm really sorry about that. But I just I hope that you found something useful out of this tutorial. Uh, maybe whether it was the product or the way I use them. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all safe at home. And I will see you in another video on Saturday. Bye.